Welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading for April and this is going to be a general reading so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So I'm going to start off your reading with an important oracle message. I'm going to be looking at past, present, and future. I'm going to clarify the cards for you and pull some advice. Okay. All right. So your message for April is intuition, intuition. And it says, listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. So there's something here about you needing to make a decision about something or um, listening to your intuition about something. Maybe you don't know what you should do. Your intuition is trying to tell you about this uh, situation. So let's get into your reading, Taurus, and let's see what's happening for you. Okay, so your challenge for April is the Queen of Swords. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords in reverse. All right, so your challenge, uh, Taurus, has a lot to do with possibly an air sign. Okay, I'm getting Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. Um, even if it's not an air sign, this person is embodying air energy, okay? This is somebody who wants to speak to you. This is someone who wants to have a conversation. This is someone who is very logical, okay? We're going to clarify and we're going to see. In the recent past, Taurus, you have the Chariot, the Death, and the Six of Wands. I feel like there was something here that ended in the past, okay? Um, but within this ending led to some sort of victory, okay? Because what ended up happening for many of you in the past was you deciding to move forward, okay? Maybe this person decided to move forward. Something here ended and it allowed you to free yourself and move forward, okay? Into a victory in the past is what this is telling me. In the present moment, you have the Three of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Hangman. Someone here is not taking action in the present moment, okay? They have a lot of love for you. There's definitely someone here um, who has a lot of love for you. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, but they're not taking action because possibly they're waiting on you in the present moment. We're going to see. In the near future, you have the Nine of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Six of Swords. Someone is afraid to try again here, okay, to make something work. They haven't completely given up on this is what it's telling me. Um, but there's a lot of fear here to maybe start again or try again with you. I do see a big change coming in the near future, okay, that you don't expect happening. And it has a lot to do with someone leaving a situation, okay? So we're going to see um, what this is all about. What you don't see coming, Taurus, at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, and the Five of Swords in reverse. Someone who is... Um, closed off to you in the past okay starts to open up in the near future and they start to drop their guard okay there's been this very def um there's been this defensive energy possibly with an air sign aquarius libra gemini and i feel like that's going to be changing for you there's also a need for you to listen to your intuition because your intuition is telling you for some of you your intuition is telling you that this person's um waiting on you or this person um is coming back around there's that possibility as well too so we're going to clarify and we're going to see so the first card I'm going to clarify for you, Taurus, is the Queen of Swords. I feel like this per whoever this person is, they um, they have something important to tell you is what I'm um, getting here with this Queen of Swords. We're going to see.
The Queen of Swords is clarified by the King of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. There's a new opportunity that someone here is going to be presenting to you, okay? You've wanted... Um, to possibly offer this person love, okay? It could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm also getting Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So there's someone here that's been waiting on you, okay? And your challenge is to figure out whether or not you want to make this offer to this person. This is why your intuition is going to play a huge role in April um, to determine whether or not this person is worth uh, starting something with, okay? Because whatever you are offering to this person, it is a long-term offering. It is possibly a long-term um, investment here. Okay, so let's talk about the past and let's clarify the death card in the past. So the death is clarified by the Tower, the Three of Wands, and the Hangman. There was definitely a Tower moment here between you and this person in the past. There was definitely a Tower moment here, okay? And um, I feel like this person, you know, I'm going to say a specific story. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but I feel like something happened here, okay, maybe in your personal life, and you may have expected this person to support you or help you in some sort of way, and they never really did. Um, and this may have possibly led to some sort of tower moment that happened between you and this person. So there's something here about realizing your self-sufficiency and, and recognizing how much power you have within yourself to kind of just go on your own and make things happen on your own. Okay, in the past. So there's something here about not always expecting someone here to save you or someone here to support you. You know, there was a need here for you to kind of carry on and move on on your own. Okay, is what I'm getting here. And this may have led to a separation in the past. Okay, because of the lack of support here. So in the present moment, Taurus, you have the three of wands. I feel like there's someone here waiting on you. Okay, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, maybe a Pisces, Scorpio. Let's clarify the three of wands. So the Three of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Judgment. Mm -hmm. This is someone who walked away from you. This is someone who walked away from you, okay? Could have been um, some sort of realization here where you disconnected from this person. Could have a lot to do with the lack of support in the past. However, this person in the present moment, whether you know this or not, is waiting on you. Nine of Wands, Three of Wands. Okay, they're waiting on you, but they're afraid to approach you for some reason here. Um, this is why they're not taking action. We're going to see why they're not taking action. But before I clarify that, I'm going to clarify this water sign um, who is presenting themselves in your life currently. The water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me more about this person. So the King of Cups is clarified by the Sun, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. This is someone here who left. It's definitely someone here who has left in the present moment that for some reason, Taurus, um, you still feel a strong connection to this person. You do. Okay, um, this is someone that you see yourself having a long term commitment with. And this is someone who brings a lot of happiness to you. The problem is, is this person isn't taking action, even though there is strong feelings for you and them. Okay, let's see why this person isn't taking action with the hangman. The hangman is clarified by the seven of swords, the ace of pentacles, and the ace of wands. This person wants a new offer from you. They want a new opportunity, okay? The problem is the reason why this person isn't taking action towards you is because they know that they did something possibly wrong in the past. Maybe there was some sort of deception here. Um, and this really created a lot of pain. So as a result of that, this person's having fear in terms of how or when they should come towards you. 
but there is a strong connection here whether you're with this person or not it's it's you feel that connection with them so it's difficult to disconnect from this um and your intuition is also telling you a lot about this okay for some of you this reading is just going to be confirmation um is what i'm getting okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the near future okay in the near future you have the nine of wands let's clarify the nine of wands So the Nine of Wands is clarified by the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Ooh. Someone here is transforming. Okay, this person, the Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, could also be a Fire Sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person is going to try to come towards you to have a new beginning, okay? But they're going to do it in a different type of way. I see this person coming towards you casually at the beginning, okay? Some of you are not you may not um, respond or react to this person. And when they see that you're not really interested in that casual kind of energy, this person's going to come towards you in a different type of way, in a more um, romantic and charming type of way. And this leads to having a new beginning. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm almost getting here, Taurus, like when this person comes towards you, it's 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 like this person's testing to see what you like, you know, um, because there is a lot of fear here. In terms of, oh, how should I approach Taurus? How should I come towards Taurus? This person is definitely going to try different ways um, because this person has a lot of love for you, okay? A lot of love for you. And there's a major change that's happening here in the near future, okay? So we're going to see what this major change is that's coming in for you. There's somebody who's leaving something. There's something about someone leaving a situation in the near future. I'm going to see what this is all about. So the Six of Swords is clarified by the Two of Cups, the World, and the Five of Cups. Wow. Wow. Okay. So um, what I see here happening is that for many of you, this person, okay, I feel like this could be you or your person. Maybe it's going to be both of you. Five of Cups talks about a situation that becomes very much focused on the past, very much focused on betrayal. Someone here is finally putting an end to that world card here okay world card in the center um someone here is moving away from resentment anger being upset and they're focusing on the two of cups wow that's so beautiful someone here really wants to have a new beginning with you and uh this change is gonna um come in for you it is an opportunity okay so let me clarify the opportunity that's coming into your life what is this wheel of fortune about for taurus I, I don't know, I was like shuffling the cards and I was doing this reading. I'm like, this reading is gonna be, it's gonna be a good reading, I feel, for Taurus. I don't know why I was getting that, but. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Hierophant. <sighs> this can go either way, okay? Depending on how you choose to respond to the situation, this opportunity that's coming up for you is something that, Either you've you've you have fear surrounding um, abandonment issues. Okay, there's a commitment here. Okay, maybe marriage for some of you in the near future that's going to happen. But again, what this is trying to say, the Five of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups is saying, you could look at this situation, Taurus, and this is a direct message to you because the Hierophant is here. You could look at this situation as, wow, this is something. This opportunity is something that can really lead to a lot of fulfillment for me, or it's an opportunity that. I may leave altogether and I may not be interested in it, okay? So again, free will is going to be at play here, um, especially based on the past and what you've experienced because you did have a tower moment in the past with this person. Something happened here. Some of you haven't resolved this, okay? But you still have the strong connection with this person. And what I um, see coming for you, what you don't see coming is the Two of Swords in reverse and the Hierophant. Some of you um, recognize that this person is open to you, but you may not be open to this person, okay? So it's really up to you what you decide to do, but there is going to be a second chance here, okay? Or a second opportunity here because someone here is no longer interested in fighting or competing anymore. They really want to get down to 
love. This is what they're focused on in the near future, okay? So let's get some advice for you. Beautiful reading. What is the advice? So the advice here is the Knight of Pentacles, the Justice, and the King of Swords. Move towards this situation slowly if you need to, if you don't really know what to do, okay? Test the waters here. Whatever you decide to do, something here needs to be set right between you and this person. So whether or not you choose to move forward with this person or you choose to completely remove yourself, which I don't feel like you're going to be doing, I see you making an offer. You've been thinking about making this offer to this person. Um, whatever you do, make sure it's fair, okay? And make sure it is something that you can actually um see yourself living with forever okay because this is something that could lead to something long term okay so taurus this is what i have for you i hope this reading helped thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one bye